faith is the acceptance of the principle of union. All else is striving for union out of desire. Faith moves by concrete desire to fulfilment with real objects. It can be happy because it is not seeking the absolute which it has lost or never known. To one without faith, satisfaction is absolute. To one without faith, every desire seeks an utter release, an ecstatic and overwhelming pleasure, a union through fascination. Mere desire can never attain this, and so it is always striving and yearning. But faith realizes union throughout the whole existence. Union is not the separate goal of its every desire. Thus, it is not endlessly involved with sex and pleasure. It is not continuously fascinated with death, which ends the holy effort and consciousness of fascinated striving. It does not alternate between license and asceticism, fascination, and the overcoming of fascination, absolute energy and absolute death. Faith knows it cannot be satisfied to the absolute degree by any experience. Its satisfaction is prior and universal. Thus, all its desires and objects are manifestations of love, openness, freedom and happiness. It grows in the realization of union, denying neither the creature nor the soul, and asserting neither creature nor soul as absolute to the exclusion of the other. Faith knows its ultimate satisfaction is not in any particular, not in any object or experience. Where union and real satisfaction are sought in every particular mode of life, there is suffering and dissatisfaction. This is the pain of ignorance. It is the potential flight into exhaustion. Faith knows this possibility to be in error. It knows the fruits of surrender to this temptation. Thus, the energy is not devoted to license, nor to the resistance to objects of desire, but to surrender opening freedom and happiness. It moves itself constantly into contact, relationship with persons and all reality and real action. Thus, real life is made possible through the realization of prior union with the divine.